ST segment is the straight line which is drawn when spread of ventricular depolarization is terminated and yet rapid phase of repolarization has not started. There is a plateau phase, cations are going into cell as well as cations are coming out of the cell, no significant electrical changes in the potential, so electrodes do, do not record any significant electrical activity in the heart, due to that reason needle remains static, it does not fluctuate and a straight line is made. So during the ST segment, what is really there that whole myocardium in the ventricle is completely depolarized and there is no current moving, no vector moving through the ventricle. Is it clear? Now, we have talked about the waves which are produced due to fluctuations of the needle. We have talked about segments which are isoelectric lines. Is that right? Let us talk about interval. Intervals are some of some waves and segments or more than one wave together are called intervals or some wave plus segment is called interval. Let me tell you. If we measure from here, from the beginning of the beginning of the P wave up to the beginning of the QRS complex up to here. Now this duration, right, from the beginning of the P wave up to the beginning of the QRS, hold this duration, I mean this duration. This is called PR interval. You must know the difference in PR segment and interval. PR segment is only this isoelectric line, but PR interval includes the P waves. The difference in PR segment and PR interval is, PR interval has P wave plus PR segment. But PR segment has no wave involving in it. What does it mean? What is the real difference? That during the PR segment, there is only conduction through the AV node. But if we are talking about PR interval, it means we are talking about the spread of depolarization in the atrium plus conduction through the AV node just before the onset of ventricular depolarization. Is that right? So, we can say that PR interval, what this should be called? PR, yes, interval is a duration during which current start from SA node depolarizes atria making the P wave and then current has entered into AV node and passing through the AV node during which current is making ST, current is making PR segment, right? And as soon as AV node releases the current into ventricle, machine start making QRS complex. So as soon as QRS complex start, PR segment, PR interval terminates. So PR interval is from the beginning of P wave up to the beginning of QRS complex. So it includes two electrical event, atrial depolarization, atrial depolarization plus conduction through AV node, but ST segment or PR segment in signifies only AV nodal conduction. Now we come to the next interval. Next interval is what is this? QRS. So QRS together up to here QRS interval because there is more than one wave, so this can be regarded as interval. Is that right? QRS interval is the duration during which current is spreading over ventricular tissue. Septal ventricular spread, right? Current spreading over septum, major ventricular depolarization spreading and visual depolarization. Is that right? Now we will take another interval. That interval will start from here at the beginning of QRS and this interval will end at the end of T wave. Now this duration from beginning of the QRS up to the end of T wave, it signifies how many things? It includes number one, septal depolarization, major ventricular depolarization, basal depolarization, then the duration for which heart remains in plateau phase of action potential and then onset and termination of repolarization. It means this interval which is from the beginning of the Q wave and up to the end of T wave, this 
should be called q t interval what is it q t interval now what is the significance of q t interval the significance or importance of q t interval is that it shows the beginning of ventricular depolarization and it ends up with the end of the ventricular repolarization whole ventricular depolarization and repolarizations are spanned during the qt interval the so next time when on ecg pattern you see that is the beginning of the qrs complex up to the t wave so you know during this time action potential was generated and terminated in the ventricular tissue and that is the time during which ventricular contraction was there ventricular systole was there mechanically ventricle was contract start contraction at this point and terminates contraction at this point so if you really want to correlate the electrical events with the mechanical events then from here you will show the onset of ventricular systole and here is the onset of ventricular diastole right you can even correlate the heart sounds onset of ventricular systole closes the atrioventricular valve so there will be first heart sound here and onset of ventricular diastole closes which valves aortic and pulmonary and there will be second heart sound here so this is another relationship here if you really want to learn it that from this time up to this time ventricle okay sorry up to this time ventricles are in systole it means that ventricles are showing systole here start contracting here right they keep on contracting right and they keep on contracting and they keep on contracting and when the contra contraction start there is first heart sound s1 ventricular systole and the end of the ventricular systole is when diastole start which sound come s2 and in between the both of them between s1 and s2 what is there systole ventricular systole and after that there is ventricular diastole so how many things we correlate number 1 first of all we saw what were the electrical activities in the heart then we translated electrical activities in heart into cardiac electrical vectors then from the electrical vectors we made the ecg pattern then we analyzed the ecg pattern into waves segments and internal intervals then we really know that what are the significance of different waves and different segments and different intervals am i clear to everyone let's take a small break okay before we really take a break why don't we talk a small wave here sometimes there's a wave here sometimes and this is called u wave what is this called u wave u wave is due to electrical activity in the papillary muscle